Hi lovies, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's gonna be my birth story. So, <clears throat> I had the day off the day she was born, or the day before. So it was just kind of a regular day, uh, typical day. Uh, we went to the grocery store, did all that, came back, and um, you know, we still had a few days till their due date, so we we're just kind of being cautious, looking at you know how things are going. But she started having contractions that I could tell were a little worse than normal, and they seemed to be at least very, very close, you know, a couple minutes apart, and started to be kind of consistent. So I was like, well, I, you know, let's let's go to the hospital, let's check it out. And sure enough, uh, when we get there and we're in the triage, is that it? Mm -hmm. She is told by the doctor that she's already eight centimeters dilated. And uh, <laughs> they were all kind of surprised. And uh, we were like, oh, wow. So um, she actually needed to make the decision whether or not she wanted the epidural uh, pretty, pretty quick. Because mm -hmm. uh, you can't make that decision when you're yeah. fully dilated. So uh, once we did that, um, she decided to go through with the epidural. They took us to the delivery room and it I mean it all happened kind of kind of fast they uh gave her the epidural they laid her in we did a couple pushing sessions and they kind of just had to relax for a while um you know of course i'm super nervous and uh just trying to be there for her, encourage her uh, not you know tell her you know she's got this it's gonna be fine and um it was a very very good and, and cool experience and um a very life-changing experience and you know as it went on she kept pushing pushing uh, the pushing went on for maybe an hour and a half or so mm -hmm. but not not maybe it felt a little longer than it was but uh it all went by pretty smoothly to be honest oh, what's wrong with that? What's with that? so uh during the process I just uh, kept, you know, right by her side, and I'm I'm helping kind of hold her in position along with the little uh, stirrup kind of things they have for you to put your legs on. And her auntie Thelma was there with us, which was uh, good for her and um, just extra support. Baby is off camera now, <laughs> but uh, as it just went on. Um, it got to the point where you know I could see the head and, and I know she's coming real soon and I'm getting real excited and uh, I watched everything happen and it seemed like as soon as as soon as the head came to the position where it was gonna come out she just came right out and uh, it was really amazing to watch and uh, very uh, you know you could hear about you know women giving birth all you want but until you're there and, the flesh you know seeing it happen it really gives you a whole new respect for just what it is to, to uh, birth a child and uh, I uh, I don't know I just I had a whole new respect for that and it's, it was really amazing and Jill did a, a great job I could tell she was a uh, very exhausted but it was really cool and my daughter came out she didn't even cry that much uh, to be honest she cried a little bit but when she was on mom's chest she just kind of laid there and looked around which was cool <laughs> and of course I got to cut the umbilical cord and uh, it just was a one of the happiest moments of, of my life and um, just to see her little face and I think she kind of looks like me <laughs> she but um, yeah I, I love her to death I love both of them and it was one of the happiest days of my life and it went by really smooth and the hospital was really great. Um, so after that, we, you know, they, they gave her the eye drops and a couple shots, I believe, and mm -hmm. let her, you know, lay with her and have that skin to skin time and breastfeeding and all that. And then they moved us into our, uh, just our, the room we were going to stay in for the next two days. The postpartum room. Postpartum room, yeah. And, um, you know, it's, it's cool. I had a little shower, you know, bed for her, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, just a chair for me, which I didn't really <laughs> sleep for two days. 
uh, at all, <laughs> which kind of sucked. But we packed a lot of like snacks and stuff, and we pretty much had everything we needed. Um, and they 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 served us food, of course. And so it was it was cool. Well, we were definitely itching to get out of there though. Um, by the end of the second day, we're just like, oh man, I believe we went into the third morning, just like, okay, please, can we go home? <laughs> um, other, but it was it was a it, they were a great hospital. They have. And they had any, anything we needed. They were very uh, accommodating and, and very careful and caring and, and awesome. And uh, I couldn't recommend, um, you know, being there any more than anywhere else. But um, after that, we brought her home, and now we have our little, our little baby, our little bundle of joy. And uh, you kind of just go, well, what do we do now? <laughs> I think she's just a little hungry right now. She's fussy, but she's actually a really good baby. She's a really good baby. I think really she's baby. So she was born seven pounds, six ounces, mm -hmm. well, which I was like, wow, I, I kind of thought she'd be a little smaller. I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> but yeah, good, healthy size. Now she's up to nine pounds, five ounces. She probably weighs more than that now because that was done a little bit of how long ago? Mm, two weeks. Um, yeah, uh, a while ago. But um. Yeah, so she's doing great. She's mainly breastfed. She does take some formula sometimes uh, just to kind of help out because um, I know breastfeeding is a task in and of itself, but even that seems to be going better and better all the time. <laughs> so I just do what I can as dad. I'm changing many diapers. I'm feeding her bottle when I can and holding her, but I know mom is the real. Mom is a real trooper in this situation. Yeah, we're not sleeping too much either still. So <laughs> feeding every two to three hours. But um, yeah, it's been it's been great. It, it, nothing, you know, all the things you hear, oh, you don't sleep and you, you know, you, you have this baby that you have to attend to. It just, it doesn't even matter because you love her so much and she brings so much happiness to you. So it's it's just been great. I mean, really, it's been smooth. I, I don't, she's had no problems. Um, she gets a little gassy sometimes. You know, a couple boogers here and there. <laughs> but other than that, she's a perfect baby and we love her today. Mm -hmm. So that's really uh, my birth story and my experience with it all. Yeah. Uh, just trying to be as supportive as possible and just be there and that's what we can do as dads, you know, it just, it's all about support and, and helping out as much as possible because whether you like it or not, mom is gonna do most, mom's gonna do most of the work. It's just what it is. Say hi to them, say hi. It's okay, though. I'm fuzzy. I know. But anyways, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, you wanna take it off there? Yeah. Um. If you haven't seen my birth story, by side of the story, and me introducing her to YouTube world, I'm gonna link it down below. Yeah, thank you for watching. Oh, you wanna end, I you wanna think she's, end the video? Huh? I think you wanna end the video. Huh? Huh? Okay, <laughs> thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.